my thanes and kinsmen henceforth be earls the first that ever scotland in such an honour named what's more to do which would be planted newly with the time as calling home our exiled friends abroad that fled the snares of watchful tyranny producing forth the cruel ministers of this dead butcher and his fiend-like queen who as tis thought by self and violent hands took off her life this and what needful else that calls upon us by the grace of grace we will perform in measure time and place so thanks to all at once and to each one who we invite to see us crowned at scone <laughs> So, yeah. Nice speech, though. A little flowery, if you ask me. Yeah, a bit, but I like the rhymes. Uh, did they say something about scones? You're always hungry. Well, anyway, look like that's all settled then. I'm going to follow them, see what the scone business was about. I just wish... All those happy people knew that it was us who got them here, not that big, strapping, hunky Malcolm. It just goes to show women never get recognized in the workplace as much as men. Imagine how much worse it would be if we were ugly. I can't even. It just feels like there's unfinished business. Oh, so we're doing this talking thing then. Macbeth was beheaded. That seems pretty finished to me. Okay, I don't need a scone. Haven't eaten in 300 years, but that's fine. Let's do more talking instead. Don't you think we deserve some thanks, sis? For what? I, I didn't get into this profession for the fame. Duncan was a terrible king, right? So we planted the idea in Macbeth's head to you know, murder him and everything. Then, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, a lot of people are dead. But we have a better king. So I ask you, aren't we do some thanks? Well, I'd settle for some scones, actually. They don't even have to be that good. I agree with you. It'd be nice to get some recognition, but what can you do? That's the world we live in, I'm afraid. But it doesn't have to be. We can change it. Wow. I know. Make them eat scones until they burst. Can you stop talking about the Bacacta scones for like a minute? We get it. You like them. I'd stop talking about them if I had one in my mouth. What do you propose we do? What we do best. A new curse. On who? Everybody bad is dead, and even some good people are dead, too. I'd say, mwah, mission accomplished. Now, let's all cheer up and get some scones. Malcolm said something that got me thinking. He said, we perform in measure, time, and place. Perform. He's going to continue to tell how brave he is and how ridding Scotland of Macbeth was all his doing, but he's going to perform it. You mean like he's going to become an actor? Why would he do that? Tension seeking mostly. You saw him up there. He loved the spotlight. You even said yourself how powerful his speech was. And if he does turn this tragedy into some play, do you think we'll come off as heroes? No. Damn right, no. Therefore, we should create a curse so that anyone who says Macbeth's name will have something terrible happen to them. Yes. Okay, but according to your logic, that would make the story disappear, including our part in it. I'm one step ahead of you, like usual, to prove I'm not completely evil. What about if bad things only happen to people who say his name? Ready for this? 
in a certain location. Oh, like on a heath? No, not on a heath, because most people don't even know what a heath is. Scottish people do. And no one can understand Scottish people. Uh, what about in one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? Rooms where uh, actors get up and say things. A theater? Yes, that. They could still tell the story, but they would have to come up with a different name for him, like McDonald. Or McScone. Genius, right? I'm going to be the most infamous witch who ever lived. Now who's attention seeking? I'll ignore that comment. Okay, let's see. To cast our curse, first we need a cauldron. Never gets old. Next, we gotta add some disgusting and random objects together. Oh. Would a rat testicle help? I got a leftover goat sphincter that'll work. I guess I don't need this uh, expired moose spit. And now, we recite the curse, which somehow we already know, even though we've never even talked about it before. Triple, triple. Push it up and ripple. The fate of theater. We thus do cripple. So, are we good? Um, yeah, I think so. Cool, that was fun. I should get back. I have a pot on the stove. Uh, wait. I think... Who are those people? Does something wicked this way come? Oh, them? They're just stragglers from Malcolm's victory speech. But uh, why are they watching us so closely? Can I help you? The show is over. Exit is in the rear. No. <gasps> oh, no. They aren't leaving. It's as if they're waiting for us to do something. Like uh, this is a performance or something. Well, Mother said I always did have a flair for the dramatic. Uh, ignore it. They look harmless enough. Uh, but you curse about actors performing that guy's story in a theater? That guy? You mean Macbeth? Um, that was weird. Well, we are called the Weird Sisters. Ah. Uh, so, so I, I should get going. Ah, uh, sure, no problem. Meet you again in the thunder, lightning, and rain. Oh, and, and when the hurly burly is done, don't forget that. Right. Always forget the part about the hurly burly. <sighs> Uh, just goes to show some obsessions are not healthy. I definitely deserve a scone for this shit.